and staff here at Montana State. Uh, uh, of course, Peter Fields and, and Drew and Bill and Hillary, I thank you all for uh, helping put this evening together, the celebration, uh, and uh, giving a, a Boston boy such a nice welcome here in Bozeman. It's going to be very hard for me to get back on that plane tomorrow afternoon. This is, uh, this is really one of the most beautiful places I have, uh, I have been to, so uh, I can assure you it will not be my last time I hope, in, in, in Bozeman. Uh, so I'm Glenn Greenberg, I'm with Liberty Mutual Insurance Company in Boston, and on behalf of the 45,000 Liberty Mutual Insurance employees around the world and our partners at the National Football Foundation, College Football Hall of Fame, it is really an honor to be here today. We uh, had a nice celebration down in uh, uh, New Orleans, a uh, nice quiet weekend uh, back, in, back in January, and uh, a lot of Alabama fans, a lot of LSU fans. Uh, but uh, a lot of Montana State fans uh, as well. So uh, we were uh, really thrilled to be in New Orleans uh, with Coach Ash, and um, uh, it's even better to be here in Bozeman to, uh, to give him a, uh, a just celebration in front of his, uh, his peers uh, and his fans and his colleagues and his supporters, so uh, it's, it's great to be here. Uh, I hope the video that you just saw, I know it was a little long, but I hope it gave you a flavor of why the Liberty Mutual Coach of the Year Award is unlike any other uh, coaching football uh, coaching award in college football. Uh, as it mentions, uh, at the root of our award are four principles that we honor. Sportsmanship, integrity, responsibility, and excellence both on and off the field. And it's a celebration of coaching excellence in a very different manner. There are, uh, there are lots of awards out there that honor coaches for their success on, on a rather broad level. But we have formal criteria that fans and our voters are asked to consider uh, when uh, determining the Liberty Mutual Coach of the Year award winners. These criteria specifically measure success on and off the field. Coaches who not only are getting it done on football Saturdays, and I guess on Thursday nights and Fridays and, and whenever else there's college football is played now, uh, but also who are ensuring that their players are succeeding in the classroom and that they are building skills for their lives after football. And they are the coaches who understand that the game is not only about wins and losses, but also about making sure that the community around them is well taken care of. For the past six years, we have presented the Liberty Mutual Coach of the Year Award to the college football coach in each of the four NCAA divisions who best exemplify these traits of responsibility and excellence on and off the field. But it's largely fans like the Montana State Bobcat fans uh, who we rely on to help identify the best candidates. Each college football season, fans engage in the Coach of the Year process by casting votes daily for their favorite coach. And importantly, when they visit our website or our Coach of the Year Facebook page, they leave behind stories and anecdotes about why their coach best fits the mold. And it's, it's really exciting to watch rival schools compete through in our program. It's not only competing uh, on the field and who's got a better record, but it's uh, uh, competing on whose coach uh, is doing more in the community and who's doing more with their student athletes. We get a lot of stories like that about how proud people are of, of their coaches and, and uh, there was no shortage of similar comments uh, of Coach Ash this season. Fan votes are a vital ingredient in our process for only the coaches in the top 15 in votes in each division then qualifies for further consideration. And then a specially designed model endorsed by the College Football Hall of Fame comes into play and scores each coach in four areas. The first is coaching excellence, which is an evaluation of on-field results in 2011. Then it looks at sportsmanship and integrity, and this is uh, an analysis of how a team composes itself on the field and the manner in which the coach his staff and his players behave responsibly off the field. Academic excellence, including an evaluation of a team's academic progress rate and their success at developing academic All-Americans. And lastly, community commitment, an assessment of the coaches and the team's civic and charitable stewardship. That model produces our finalists, five in the case of the football championship subdivision, and fans then re-engage with the voting process online, and at the same time, voting committees comprised of national college football media and college football Hall of Fame players and coaches cast individual ballots based on each finalist coach's profile. So, 
What did these guys look at and see about Coach Rob Ash? Well, on the field, they see a legendary leader responsible for a 635 winning percentage over 31 years. And they see a coach who in just five years here in Bozeman now ranks among the program's most winning coaches with 39, including 10 this season to lead the Bobcats to the FCS playoffs for the second year in a row. And off the field, they see a coach who, along with his staff, embrace academic commitment and success. As a result, they have seen Bobcat student-athletes improve the program's academic progress rate by more than 60 points since arriving in 2006. That is a remarkable, remarkable achievement. And in the community, they see a man who is a champion of philanthropic activity. In addition to his own impressive list of personal endeavors, Coach Ash his staff, and the team compiled more than 800 hours of community service last year alone. So, on behalf of Liberty Mutual Insurance, our voting committee, and Bobcat football fans here in Bozeman and across the country, it is my pleasure to here in Bozeman present the 2011 Liberty Mutual Coach of the Year Award trophy to Montana State football coach Rob Ash. It was a great time. Okay, it's even fine. better because it's at home in front of all these friendly faces. And Glenn, remember what happened in New Orleans stays in New Orleans. That's <laughs> one of those uh, one of those platitudes we have to know. Gosh, this is this is a fabulous night. Thank you all for coming. I appreciate it. I appreciate Glenn coming all the way from Boston to be with us. And I think he's seeing the the Montana hospitality that we are famous for and that we are proud of. And, and uh, we guarantee you, we're going to show you. Good time tonight and tomorrow before you have to go back to Boston. And the clouds did lift, and you get to see the mountains. That's what we wanted to be sure you saw. Um, I've been bragging about the fans with Glenn for, back when we first met him down in New Orleans. And you know, that's the first component. The first thing I want to talk about is how great the support has been from our fans. Obviously, all of you in the room, but everybody else who voted. People who voted diligently every single day. How many of you did that? I'd like to know. I'm just there we go. See, I do it. Yeah. I'm glad my wife voted. It's a good sign, I guess. That's a big plus. That's a big plus. That helps. But you know, without the fan support, our program wouldn't be where we are. I mean, we sell out this stadium, and we have an unbelievable booster organization, and. Uh, you know, our, our ticket sales, our donations, our support for the program, and all everything that we do is just fantastic. And the fan support is, is crucial for the program, but also not just because of this award, but just because of what we do with the program. And I, just for an example, Glenn, I'm going to point out to you, we invited uh, our board of directors from our quarterback club to come to the event today. I had lunch with Glenn today, and I said, I don't know how many of these guys will be able to come, but Montana's a big state, but... We don't care about how many miles we have to drive. We're going to go. We drive, you know, people drive five hours each way to come to games. And just for your information, Glenn, so just to prove the point, we have board members here, the Thompsons and John and Sally Christ from, from Butte. We have Clyde and Roberta here from Great Falls. We have Jim Boss and is Butch here? Butch, I thought I saw Butch. Uh, yeah. There he is, Butch Brasky, drove from Billings. That's a mere 150 miles right down the road, you know, to come over here. <laughs> Did I, I mean, did I miss anybody else on the board from out of town? I mean, that's fantastic. On really three or four days' notice to, to, to drive over here, and that just gives you an idea of the support that we have, plus many other board members and other fans from right here in town. So the fans are the reason, one of the key reasons why we're having this event tonight. Back in 2007 when I got here, we sat down as a coaching staff and we said we were going to design a mission statement for this program, and the mission statement was very clear. It said we're going to try to excel in three areas, our performance on the field, our performance in the classroom, and our commitment to the community. And we identified that and articulated that in 2007, and we've tried to live by the model that if all we coach is football, that's not enough. We need to coach more than that. And then when this Liberty Mutual Award uh, was all of a sudden a reality, I looked at the, the definition of what it takes to win the award. It matched identically with what we have identified as our mission statement. 
you know, success on the field, success in the classroom, and commitment to the community. And so the award really is a validation of what we've tried to do for five years, not just one season. Okay, for five years of what we've tried to do. And I had a meeting with the team today after practice, and I would have brought them up here, but they stink after practice. <laughs> and they were, the food would have been gone before any of you had a chance to, to have them. But I told them and I told the coaches that were there that, you know, this, is, this award has one person's name on it, but it's not about one person. It's about what all the coaches have done for five years and what all those players have done for five years, and particularly in this last season, one of the such uh, you know, exciting, you know, campaign with nine wins in a row and a number one national ranking and going to the quarterfinals and beat New Hampshire out here in the playoffs and all of that. But it's what they did, those players, and what those coaches did. And so it's a, it's a program award. It's not for one person. It's about everything that everybody in the program has tried to do. Um, and having said that, too, I'd like to, we have a few coaches here that I would like to introduce. So guys, step forward. I've seen several of Coach Bo Beck is here. piece of this is, and we're going to transition to this next step here, and I'm really excited about this because, you know, this award does a whole lot more than just put a trophy in the trophy case. Okay. This award brings actual hard, cold cash to Montana and to our community and to our university. You know, $50,000 to local charities, $20,000 to our Alumni Association for Scholarships, and so it's, it's more than just a trophy. It's an actual, concrete, practical value for Montana State and for our local area in the form of significant financial support for organizations that are dedicated to improving the standard of living and the quality of life here in Montana. And so, to me, that's the most exciting part about this evening. Thank you very much for coming, and let's, uh, let's do it.